Welcome to Second Take, the show that takes a look at the issues behind the news. Telecommunications giant Vodacom has concluded an agreement for the 100% buyout of converged communications network operator Neotel for 7 billion rand. Krima Media's Natasha Urendal provides us with some background into the development. Hi Natasha. Hi. What led to this deal? Well, the talks have been going on for months. Um, speculation about consolidation in the industry, it's, it's all been a big hype for, for many, many months now. And after finally admitting that they were in talks last year with Neotel to buy them out, they came out this week and said, this is it, we're buying Neotel for 7 billion rand. Now, what's going to happen is they're not actually going to just bring Neotel in and merge it with Vodacom. They're going to take their enterprise business, put it into Neotel, and then run it as a standalone business. Um, and then it will just enable them to get some scale into the industry and to be a good competitor. A lot of industry stakeholders have been saying that we need consolidation in the industry to give the smaller companies scale, um, to get them up and going, and to be competitive. Um, the first thoughts were that uh, perhaps Telcom Mobile and um, Cell C would actually merge. And although they've been denying it for a while, Cell C has said that they are always in talks with all the other players for the possibility of consolidation. Nobody really wants to state what's going to happen or when, but it's going to happen. And then another case in point is Telcom has also this morning announced that it is buying Business Connection. I mean, that's a more than two billion rand deal that they're going to actually expand into end-to-end -end ICT services now to, to give them a little bit more traction. I mean, Telcom's been struggling for a while now. So we'll see what actually happens in that space. Back to Neotel, what makes the company so attractive to Vodacom? Well, other than the fact that Neotel has got like 15,000 kilometers of fiber in the ground already, or at least access to it, um, Neotel's been working for the past few years to, to become a fixed line competitor or a competitor to Telcom, if you want to call it that, to try and gain some traction there. The services that Neotel offer, the Converge services, will fit in nicely with, with Vodacom, and then the deal will actually enable them to reduce the cost to consumers of telecommunications. It will be able them to target fiber to the home, fiber to the business, even more so, and become a leader in that field. The deal will also enable them to expand the Converge services out um, and improve network availability for all of Vodacom. I mean, and, and with Vodacom's significant backing, they can give Neotel the right amount of funding to actually expand into Africa further, enable the company to, to boost itself, in other words. And what about Neotel's assigned spectrum? That is a big boost to Vodacom. Vodacom's been you know, rolling out LTE for a while. All of the operators have been dabbling in LTE. But the only problem with the rollout over there is spectrum. They need spectrum. Neotel has the right amount of assigned spectrum for Vodacom to pursue its, its LTE ambitions even further. Um, and then with the takeover of Neotel and becoming a standalone business, it could be able to, to use that spectrum effectively and actually get more services out there. Great. Thanks, Natasha. That is the second tech show for this week. Thank you for watching and join us again next time for more news analysis.